Well boys, it has been a while since you guys seen this car. A lot of good things and a lot of bad things have happened since the last time you guys seen this car. So what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We've been gone for a minute. There's no good reason why we've been gone for a minute, but I've just had so much stuff going on, which is not an excuse, but it is time we show you guys this car again. It's now November in Florida, which means it's finally getting to the point where it's starting to cool down. It may not look it outside. It looks pretty sunny, but it's actually a bit cooler. It's in the 60s today. Got my pants on, got a sweatshirt on, and this is my favorite kind of weather. We're gonna hook up this Insta360 mount that I got for this car, and we're gonna get some cool footage of this car driving on the road. All right, we got the Insta360 all set up here. It doesn't seem like this is going anywhere. I've already done a good amount of speed with this thing on, and it was okay. Now let's start up the car and let's get out of here. Definitely sounds good though. Definitely sounds good. You gotta love Cook's headers, man. Cook's headers does such a difference to this car. You guys have not seen the inside of this car in a very long time, and a lot of stuff has changed inside of here. So let me show you. So first, we have a dash camera right here that shows the outside. This one right here shows the inside and the outside. I can change that. We have a radar now. And now we have a blinking tire light, which is for good reason, which I'll explain later. We also now have these six starlight floor mats on both sides, which they also change color from my phone or a remote, which is really cool. And I sell these starlight floor mats now, so if you guys are interested, let me know in the comments or hit me up on Instagram, adam.hosk. And uh, yeah, we could get you some of these carpets because these things are so sick, especially at nighttime. Every time before I drive the car, I gotta throw it into track mode. Let's get it right there and watch the screen change. Look how cool this is. Look at that. It makes it just look like a race car, how it has the digital dash. That's pretty cool. I love having it in track mode. Although track mode is the sketchiest to drive in because of how much power it allows you to have, if that makes any sense. Sport mode is ideal for when driving normally and just on the street and stuff, but track mode, that's when it gets sketchy and dangerous. Just driving this car makes it feel like you're in a race car every single time. Also. Look at this, I love how you can see the car with the Insta360 going, and I can just hit record whenever I want. And also, yes, I moved. For anybody wondering, I also haven't posted in forever, but I moved to a different house, and we actually have a garage for the car now, which you guys seen, which is actually really cool, and that's like my favorite part. I've been wanting a garage forever. I've never had a garage for any of my cars ever, so this is really cool to have. <laughs> This is a 
different level kind of Corvette than the normal ones around here. I live in a town where it's all old people, so they all have like C8s, but they're all like the base versions of the C8s. And then there's Stingrays, Grand Sports, there's not many Z06s, especially Batman Z06s like this one. I could literally drive this every day for the rest of my life and I would not complain. The only problem is how much gas this thing goes through. Like, I think I average 11 miles per gallon. That's not good. Oh my god, it's so easy to cut up to. Driving this um, home from Jersey to Florida, I know you guys can tell how much fun that was. So I can't go in there. Dang! You see that car? It's full of airbags. Radar going off. Well, I was gonna film here, but it seems that I keep getting interrupted by all these people. So we're gonna have to move locations. So I'll turn this on. Never gonna get tired of that. That is for sure. Never gonna get tired of that. All right, we have now relocated to the new spot. This thing is also hella dirty, so please do not pay attention to that. I haven't washed it in like two weeks, maybe. I mean, it looks good from afar, but nah, this, this doesn't look good from afar. All right, so let me give you guys some updates of what's going on in my life and what happened with the car. First things first, I moved, uh, moved into a new house, not too far from my old one. Now for the car, I'm just gonna do a walk around and show you guys pretty much everything new on the car. So first things first, we have a new license plate. Batman 01. 01 I had to get or else I couldn't get the word Batman there. I sat there at the DMV with the lady for maybe like 20, 25 minutes or trying to figure out how I can get this license plate to say Batman because surprisingly enough, a lot of Batman license plates are taken in Florida. So you have to kind of customize it to where nobody has it and nobody has this one right. So that's pretty dope. Obviously guys, we have the Insta360 camera now. I posted a few TikToks and Instagram reels with that. It's pretty cool to have. I like editing those videos. Come to the sides here. You might be able to see this, maybe not, if you have paid attention to this car. We have two different wheels here. So this is part of the reason why I haven't filmed in such a long time, and the wheel is hella dirty, but these right here are Ford Stars, and the reason we had to get that is because the passenger side wheel on that side of the car cracked. Originally, I just thought it was a hole in the tire because it kept losing air, so I brought it to the mechanic shop, and my buddy took a look at it. It ended up being a lot worse than just a hole in the tire. So when I found out it was the actual wheel that was cracked and broken, I went right home and I ordered a replica Corvette stock wheel. It came in the mail, ended up being the wrong size, so I returned that wheel, all right? Then I went on, I was like, screw it, I'm just gonna buy a drag pack for this car. So I had to replace the front two first, so I bought two Weld Wheels drag packs for the front of the car. Those came in wrong offset. It did not clear the brakes, it was hitting the brakes, so I have to sell them. I still have them for sale. If any of you guys are interested, I'll show, um, just show you guys the uh, specs of it. So if anybody's interested in that, let me know in the comments or DM me on Instagram. And mind you, while I was waiting for the weld wheels to come in, I bought two Nitto tires for the front. Nice big old tires. Those didn't fit either. Okay, that one was on me. That was my fault. I didn't buy the right size. I didn't realize it wasn't going to fit. It honestly was way too big and it was pushing my front bumper. It was put, let me just show you guys. So I got the, I got the tires and I had the weld wheels mounted already on the tires and it was all the way against this, and when I was turning the tire, it would push out the bumper, and this part came out. So that was no bueno. I had to take off the tires. I ordered Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's. I know those are crappy tires, but I just needed tires to get this thing back on the road, which we have now. Everything is perfectly fine. The wheels are good. Everything looks good. It runs good. The front bumper is now back in place. It's not popping out anymore. That was the whole fiasco that I had to deal with, but we are back and better now. And if you guys didn't catch it in the last video, we do have a carbon 
front splitter on the car now. So yeah, it's been a minute. It's been a solid minute without filming with this car and everything's finally put back together. Everything is good to go now. Now let's get into the part of the video that all of you guys have been waiting for and that you clicked on this video for. How was I able to afford this car at 21 years old? Now I know you guys are probably gonna go in the comments and be like, this car is not worth $100,000, but back in 2015, a C7 Z06 3LZ package with all of the options, the red interior, the leather, everything that this car has. Back in 2015, this car was ranging from the high 80,000s to the low 90s so and I just ranked up to 100,000 just for the video purposes but still that's a lot of money and it's damn near almost $100,000. I'll make a video going to detail about every specific mod that is on this car and how much that all costs if you guys really want to. So let me know in the comments below if that's something you guys wanna see. All right, let's get into the video. Um, I know you guys have heard this before if you guys have been watching me for a little bit, but that was back when I had the Mustang. So I feel like it's time we make another one of these videos just to kind of like update on everything that's happened. All right, let's start from the beginning again. So originally when I was 16 years old, I bought my first car, which was a V6 convertible Mustang. I bought that myself. I bought in all my cars myself. I paid for every single one of them. So the V6 convertible Mustang, first car, 16 years old, had it for maybe six months, seven months, give or take, something like that. Got bored of that, sold that, went to New York City and bought my first actual, I guess you could say, muscle car. The first 5.0, the one that ended up getting hit and getting totaled. Long story short, about after two, three months of owning the first 5.0, I was at a dead still stop. Someone hit me going 50 miles an hour, car was totaled, tire flew out the back, uh, the whole thing happened. I was without a car for maybe five months after that. And then I found the 5.0 that kind of took off this channel and all my social media stuff. That was was the car I bought from Texas. I had delivered that car. I had that car delivered from Texas to my house in New Jersey. We've had that car for maybe three years and then we got this. Basically, I've worked so many jobs and I didn't spend money like a normal kid would spend money. I didn't spend money on candy. I didn't spend money on food going crazy. I didn't spend money on all this little stuff that adds up over time that everybody else was doing. I literally got all my money, saved it, and put it towards the car. Any extra money that I would have in my bank account, I would throw into the car, throw into the car, throw into the car, and then eventually have the car paid off. So basically, I've worked a lot of jobs in my years. So ever since I was 16, I've done power washing. I did that with my dad for like six years. I've worked at Walmart. I've worked at multiple restaurants. I did high-end car detailing. That was a fun one. And I also did real estate, but not really count that one because it was so quick and short. But after that, all that money that I've made from those jobs, put it in my bank account, and I wouldn't spend it on stupid stuff. I would save my money and because I know I wanted a car so a car was the thing I like to spend my money on a lot of people spend their money on like vacations clothes stuff like that I've never went crazy buying clothes before maybe stuff here and there small stuff but I was the type to never buy clothes and stuff now we have this and that was a result from not spending money on little things like that I'm not saying it's wrong to do that I'm not saying it's wrong to spend money on clothes and stuff like that that's where you're into everybody has their own thing my thing spending money on cars and that's how I got to the point that I am today save my money put it into cars and over time time you always just upgrade 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 went from a v6 mustang to a 5.0 to a better 5.0 and now we have a c7 z06 which i'm very grateful for i also have a malibu at home that we don't talk about enough but then again it doesn't need to be talked about because it's a malibu but this thing right here this is what we worked for pretty much ever since we started working a job now this car right here is also a very very big asset and investment for me because this right here is my business i do youtube and tiktok and instagram all and that stuff for a living this is where i make a lot of my money from this is how i was able to afford this car pretty much saving pretty simple stuff just saving my money and putting it towards my cars working hard don't be lazy just work hard go out and achieve your goals that's what i did and now we have this but this is only the beginning, I guess you can say, because we are far, far, far from being done. We have a lot more stuff we need to do, not just with this car, but with other cars as well. And we're talking a house, we're talking a garage, we're talking multiple cars, multiple cars. We gotta get rid of that Malibu because we need something better than that. That was a lot of talking, and I'm sorry if I was just yapping like crazy. That's pretty much how it was done. And I know we are still a very, very, very small YouTube channel compared to others, but I plan on growing this page a lot more and more. I just need to keep on staying consistent, making sure this car does not break, and we will keep on posting and making content and hopefully grow this page to be something really, really cool. And for those who do not know, we have Cook's Long Tube Headers, may or may not be catalyst, with an AWE exhaust connected. Let's give you guys a nice little warm start. Oh, that didn't work. There we go. You guys want to see something pretty cool? So if we come over here, 
We grab this key right here. Come back here, lose the plate, lose the plate. That way, if we ever want to get out of a bad situation, we have that, but I'm telling you, we're never going to get in a bad situation. Not only for recording purposes only. Alright, we got to click this back on because we need to make sure that the cops see a plate behind us so we do not get in trouble there. Keep that right there, and we'll put this right here that we, we can see what's going on. Some drive. Let's put the windows down for you guys so you can hear it a little bit this American muscle oh wait a minute we got to put this thing in track first of all there we go all right yeah my brakes my brakes are also squeaking a little bit not sure what that's all about but we're gonna probably get that checked soon because we need to do a differential fluid change anyways. See, sometimes it squeaks, sometimes it doesn't. Very weird. Man, uh, we just passed those cop horses. I didn't get it on video. I would if like the cops on the horses were just like chasing us. That's some high horsepower. Get what I did there. Granny has no idea what's about to hit her. She's about to find out what 800 horsepower can do. All right, so I was at Costco this morning, right? And we got gas in my mom's car. It was 294 or something for 93 super gas, right? I'm at Wawa. Look how much super gas is here compared to Costco. See, 387 for 93, that's normal. That is like normal price for 93 super gas, but at Costco, $2.90 something cents. That's ridiculous. I'm going to Costco from here on out because that is almost like a whole dollar difference. I don't know. That's what I'm going to start doing though. Got a little Mustang clown with us. Things just kind of fly. 
Sometimes I feel bad for my passengers because it gets so hot on the passenger side because the long tube headers, I guess, is like right there or something. I don't know. It gets so hot on that side. They're always like, is the heat on? Is the heat, heat seaters on? Like, nope, just the car. But man, this thing, as you guys can see from that footage with that 5.0, this thing is quick and it spins a lot. A lot of spinning with this car. So drag pack definitely in the future but for now we're gonna be just gonna be rocking these here are the wed weld wheels i was talking about here are the specs for you guys 18 by 11. anybody who may be interested in those wheels hit me up on instagram it's at or no not it's i almost said it's adam 5.0 that's my old one adam.hask make sure you guys hit me up if you want those wheels and uh we'll talk price and whatnot but we need to get rid of those we also have come over here the old rims and tires one of them is a cracked wheel the other one is a good one so if anyone's looking for a stock c7 z06 wheel that's good and not broken i have one for sale if anybody wants that either hit me up on instagram definitely feels good to be back recording again because haven't done this in a while and i really enjoyed making this video and i hope you guys too uh this is the end of the video make sure you guys leave a like comment what you think and also that's one thing i love about this car too Love and hate. It always locks after like 10 seconds after I close the door automatically. But every time I want to go back in the car, if I'm like working on something, it's annoying to unlock it every single time. But then again, it's a good safety feature. But like I was saying, this is the end of the video. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you comment. Make sure you subscribe. But that's going to be it for today. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.